This week, sheriff's investigators said they had a person of interest in this case, and tonight, news specialist Andrew Adams was the first reporter to speak to that very person. Andrew, a lot of us curious, what did he say? Ashley, I spoke to the man himself by phone late tonight. He says he had absolutely nothing to do with the McFalls' disappearance and having his name out there has been a nightmare, even as another family struggles with a nightmare of its own. The road to answers is seldom predictable. Signs can point in many directions or no direction at all. It's like they vanished into thin air. There was nothing touched whatsoever. Jerry McFalls I'd Jr. has no idea which way to look in the disappearance of his dad and mom in January. Even being well, about three weeks later, nothing was out of place. Jerry Sr. and Susan McFalls simply vanished, leaving doors open and food on the counter. It just eats at you a little bit of a time. Searches that have happened almost weekly have come up empty and loved ones are fearing there was foul play. Somebody's done something to them and uh, it's a matter of time. They couldn't have done it alone. This week, the Mojave County Sheriff's Office said David Myhaver was a person of interest in the case. Something Myhaver tells KSL is quote, BS. Quote, I never talked with them, never did anything with them never been over there to visit with them. They found the BB gun and they actually ended up arresting uh, the wife. The McFalls family points to events prior to the couple's disappearance, where My Haver's wife was charged with firing a BB gun and hitting Jerry Sr. The charges have been dropped amid the couple's disappearance, and My Haver calls it a he said, she said. That's the most important thing for us, not necessarily who did it, it's, it's finding mom and dad and, and getting some closure with them. To that end, the McFalls children believe hope is on the horizon, no matter the road that leads them there. Hopefully it's the road that makes somebody talk and we figure out what happened. Well, the Mojave County Sheriff's Office noted the prior incident between the two families and says it's just trying to weed out people who may have had some sort of connection to the McFalls. My Haver says that's out of his control and he underscores he had nothing to do with the couple's disappearance. Another search is planned for tomorrow morning. We'll have more information up on our website, ksltv.com.